to Santa Cruz Island on a beautiful day. Santa Cruz Island. We have this group of settlers who won the food festival and one of the perks is the um, they get to serve the the guests. Oh okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, this is how they they do it. Like they're already preparing for that. Oh okay, right. So there are there are tours that come here, uh, and they're expecting some some more people later, uh, and they'll be catered for with local indigenous food, I believe, uh, here. But we've got something else arranged. Um, a group of women. Yep. They are called. Karendahan, we organize them as an association and um, they are selling souvenirs for the guests. Okay, and so what's the, the name of the indigenous people here? Um, Sama Bangingye. Sama Bangingye. Yeah, that's the tri their tribe name. Right, okay. Yeah. And so is it they're selling things? Yeah, they're selling this. I'd like you to meet uh, the, their president. She's there, right there. Oh, okay. Should be polite and turn the camera off at least first. And this is the 7-Eleven. Okay. You can buy the island essentials like water. Um, so I was just saying that this is a, a coral reef island and the sand here has a sort of a pink hue to it. Um, and what you can see is that there are little dots of pink, so it's the residue from the coral that's making it look pink. I hope you could see that. Apparently some vloggers have been to the island and they've been a little bit disappointed that it's not as pink as they hoped, so in the, uh, the editing software they've um, turned up the pink a bit. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a lovely place. It's also a national park and I was just told you're not allowed to take anything off the island, not even a twig or a leaf and if you do there's a fine. Well, I hope the camera's picking that up because there's, there's, it's dotted with pink bits of coral that make it look pink. And um, Sai also told me that because it's pink, it tastes a little bit like strawberry. <laughs> I did see that. <laughs> All right, just a brief stop at the beach. A beach is a beach is a beach. We're going now to visit the community. Just us. And all these people with me are employees of, of the island. Uh, and they're part of the indigenous community, except for Sai, who is the government liaison officer with the local community. That's the Coast Guard.
beach. Coral reef. We've come to the community village and we're going to have something to eat and talk to some people and have some fun. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's nice to meet you. So this is Lady Anne. Hello. And so she's at college. What's she studying in uh, college? I'm a course moga. Uh, computer. computer. IT. IT. Yes. Oh wow. School is Asia's Latin. Asia's Latin City. Asia's Latin Institute. Asia's Latin City Institute. And Asia's Latin City is that rolling off the tongue Zamboanga. <laughs> uh, it's it's the new. Um, it's a catch cry or whatever you call it right okay <laughs> it's a, well since we're speaking chavacano so we're dubbed as the asian latin city right i see right that's because you speak chavacano but lady anne yeah. speaks Hap misaya, hap right thank you very much <laughs> hello so these people are the paddlers and they're going to take us later out onto the lagoon and we'll see things, things, we'll see things there. How about the sandbar? So you can buy it okay, Jeff, you know, long. And this is the island mosque. So one of the island trades is fixing boats because they're uh, a seafaring people. This guy's fixing a, a small boat. Hey, good morning. Doing a repair, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fixing the boat. Right, great. You can see the guy who's fixing the boat here is using a power tool from time to time and he's got a generator. And that's because there's no power through the day unless you use your own generator. But there is a very big generator here uh, that, that switches on at 5.30. And so everybody's got electricity all night. What, what time does the generator turn off? In the morning. So it turns on at 5.30 p.m. And then 5 a.m. it turns off. So you can charge your laptop and your mobile phone and I don't know, watch TV, whatever. Sada here it used to be a teacher in this community, so all of these are her children. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. they, used to, they, they used to call her mom because she's a teacher here. Position of respect. Okay. One, two, three. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Hi. Oh, very good. The local store. Boat maker. This guy's painting and he's just about to start his generator, I think. Hey, Joe. Good morning. <laughs> I'm Australian, actually. Huh? Australian. Australian? Yeah. Okay. I'm probably Jim or something. Oh. Hey, Jim. This dog. You're muted. Hey, you. Hey. He looks just like a dingo, an Australian dingo. Seriously, this is Sauda's Sari Sari store, and their and their house. And there's no Madras uh, is Islamic religious school here on the island, so the elders teach the kids how to read the Quran. We could just hear some boys reciting the Quran in one of the houses there.
So the, the, the common forms of income on the island are fishing and um, fixing boats and then working for um, the tourism authority, I suppose, ferrying people over to the island and working within tourism. Uh, another interesting fact is there's no fresh water on the island and 90% of the island is mangroves and so only 10% of it is kind of habitable. But there's no fresh water. I was just told if you want to go into a house just tell us because everybody's really welcoming. So I said okay what about this place? So this isn't a setup. They're talking to them now. <laughs> Hello, thank you for letting us into your house. That's very nice of you. Okay, I can video this for millions of people. No, I cannot see me. No. Well, thank, thank you for letting us, uh, allowing us to come into your home. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. So these young women are, are preparing our, our lunch. What, what do you call this structure? And this structure, the lower part, is used uh, for their uh, monthly meetings. What's it called though? What's the name? Um, it's, well, it's just a Gazebo. kiosk. Gazebo? Gazebo? <laughs> is it? <laughs> We're at the gazebo. Oh, this is sea urchin. This is what we call the uku uku. Uku yeah. uku. Yes. Is, is that what we call the sea, I call the sea urchin? Sea urchin. Yeah. yeah, right. And so in this hut where we're going to be dining, uh, it's actually like a multi-purpose sort of space. But apparently there's a roster and every night someone stays in here and guards the island. Salda is going to explain what one of our salads. Uh, what, what, what sea grapes. Use? Sea grapes. Or latu. And we call it in our dialect as a gamay. Gamay. Yes. That's in Tausu. Tausu. Ah. Gamay. And in Chabacano is a latu. And what is we... it in, in French? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and what's it? This is cucumber. This is a cucumber. Yeah. With right. spring onions. With spring onions, yes. Oh. And it smells lovely too. So, sea grapes in English. Sea grapes in English. In Chabacano, it's a uh, latu. And in our dialect, in Tausug, it's a uh, gamay. Right. Now, we're going to get the names of the dishes we're about to have. Uh, and Sai will explain in detail this dish. Um, this is um, famous here. It's called chupaculo. It's a shell. And it's uh, what we're eating is what's inside it. Uh -huh. So, um, literally, chupakulu means um, the chupa is um, you suck. Like I'll suck to yeah, suck it suck. out of the shell. Yeah, and kulu is a native slang for a uh, woman's private part. <laughs> so, how how you usually eat that? Actually, you can. You can already um, take a look at the oh, right, okay. oh the the meat there. Yeah, so right. you suck it. You just suck it out yes. of the shell. Killer win. It's a killer win. Yeah. Like it's, a ceviche. It's a raw fish. Yeah. Um, vinegar. With vinegar and ginger and some um, pepper. Chili. Yeah. Okay. And seasoning. Right. What's this one? This is uh, a native dish. I'm um, actually um, more popular among the Taosugs and the Sama and the indigenous people. Um, this is called the chicken kulma. Chicken kulma. It's more. Um, it tastes like um, it gets. It got some curry. And this is also abundant here. Um, it's called crablets. Little crabs. Small crabs. Yeah. And how are they cooked? Are they cooked in a sauce? Yeah. Adobo. Um, adobo. Like adobo, yeah. Like adobo. The fish. Samara. Samara. Um, fish. Uh, it's a grilled fish, actually. Samara. Samara. Grilled fish with some condiments. Oh, yeah. Just, sorry, with some 
cucumber and tomato and um, yeah. calamansi. This is the sea cu uh, C urchin. Um, actually, it's stuffed with rice there. Oh, great. And mixed with the, with the meat inside. Uh, it, the, the meat Spices of, made on dinner. Uh, the very meat of the sea urchin is mixed in, with rice and it's stuffed inside. She's going to demonstrate how to eat the sea urchin. Oh. Crack it like an egg. Uh -oh. Like an egg. And in your shell. Kasama is uh, peeling off the shell on the outside and then inside you've got this big ball of um, cooked rice. Now you can, can you, it's ready to eat. Can I have a bite? Yes. Oh wow, thank you. This is it. A spiced steamed rice. Mmm. A little bit salty too from the sea. This is uh, local coffee. It's not grown on this island, but it's grown on uh, the, around the Sulu Islands. Uh, and it's uh, a Dalsug uh, delicacy. So it supposedly tastes a little bit different. I'll get a bit of an explanation from Sai. Um, my favorite among coffee, and it's very cheap actually, and like uh, when you go to, when you go to cafes, um, this is grown in mostly in the Sulu area and um, actually we're getting some there and it's very cheap and it's very well delicious. How much is it a kilo? Um, 250 grams um, you get this for, for 70 pesos. Wow 70 pesos that's 280 pesos a kilo. Boy, that's fantastic Yeah. and in Dalsug it's called? Kahawa Sug. It's, kawa means coffee and Sug literally means Sour. Right, coffee from the south. All right, well, it's time to taste it. If I turn with my, my back to the ocean, you get a fantastic view, but you can't see my face. So, unfortunately, you're not going to get the best view, but you'll see me. It's great. It's, it's quite sweet. You've sweetened it. Oh, it's lovely. This is the chicken. A little bit spicy. A <laughs> little bit curry. Seaweed. Sea grapes. Tastes just like seaweed. Mmm. Kevin's just operated on his chupakulu. This is what's inside. This is what. You gotta eat it. Delicious. <laughs> I'm gonna have one right now. I don't know how Kevin did it. <laughs> Did you suck it, it out? Yeah, we did. You should suck first at the bottom. Okay, we then want to get Suck at the bottom. Bottom first, then... Blow at the bottom. Or Take suck. a full blow at the top. <laughs> like this. Uh, Saigon. Look. So you take it out. Oh, my, it's not working. <laughs> trying some of the killer in and there's a lot of chili in it <laughs> oh that's delicious lots of ginger the vinegars kind of cook the fish mm. this is my rice that was steamed inside the sea urchin Mm. 
It's delicious. May malunggay, yante Ang malunggay? Ano dish may malunggay? Mm. The reason the local people aren't eating with us, they've cooked it for us, but they can't eat with us because it's Ramadan. So we're just here making things difficult for people. Kevin is going to demonstrate how to eat the crab. So you're going to extract the upper portion using this, yeah. All right. And then how do you eat it from there? And just make it in half, then you will get the meat. And then you can. Right. We've got way too much food. So we've just invited the kids in. If you're under 14, you can still eat through the day. Ramadan doesn't apply. Yum! Come on in. Want to eat? Want to eat? That's all right. Open. Open. Come in. Say hi, say hi to. Hi. 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 Hello. 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 Come in and have something to eat. They're a bit shy. Come on. Yum. Yum. Iko na ito dito. Ayaw na niya. Ayaw na niya. Ayaw na so if you're intrigued by the cuisine, you can actually do this uh, and eat this food. But not here in the community, you can eat it on the beach. So they'll bring it down and they'll they'll lay it out on a table for you. And uh, you can you can eat it there. Sea grapes. Mm. This is the last thing. This is the the pancake that's rolled up with coconut, sweetened yeah. coconut inside. It was a favourite with the kids. Mm. The kinilau was delicious, fantastic. Seamlessly blending in as usual. Apparently the village the village people here have lived here since 1941. There was some sort of disruption on Sulu, uh, the islands uh, a little further south, and they fled here. In 2016, this was declared a national park uh, and there was an army base and a whole lot of stuff here that was moved off uh, because it's also a bird sanctuary. Uh, but they didn't move the, the local villages, the, the indigenous people as they're known, uh, because they, they've been here for such a long time. <laughs> we're, we're going out onto the lagoon and we're being paddled there by Lady Anne, our beautiful paddler. Uh, jellyfish and then we're good to go. <laughs> we're good to go home. <laughs> so we're going out into the middle of the island, into yeah. the mangroves. Yeah. We're going to look at the jellyfish. We're going to touch mm. the jellyfish. We're going to touch yeah. the jellyfish, apparently. Oh. They're rowing against the tide. <coughs> it's the currents around here are really strong, apparently. And uh, because of that, all everybody has to leave the island who's going to leave the island by 2 o'clock in the afternoon. <clears throat> Otherwise, the currents are too strong for the boats, I suppose. Uh, I don't know how interested like you'll be in this, but the, this is called the mangrove forever because it's a male and like female body. mangrove uh, intertwined. Fascinating. 
stay tuned for more fascinating information from Marshall Butters Vlogs. Oh. We're trying to find some jellyfish. Oh. She's holding it. Oh. It's a little bit slimy. Oh, but it was fun. <laughs> We're kind of fighting the rip to get in. Motorcycle! After a pretty choppy ride, we've made it to the sandbar. And so these are some of the things you can do if you come for a tour, uh, come on a tour to uh, Santa Cruz. Come out to the sandbar, you go out on the lagoon and touch those jellyfish that don't sting you and you can eat local uh, indigenous food and you can just lie around on uh, what one website on Google claims to be one of the 21 best beaches in the world. And this is the, uh, the red coral that has dyed the, uh, the sand on San Cruz Island pink. We're not allowed to take it with us so we'll just put it back. We're wading out on the sandbar. God only knows why. It's beautiful, clean, clear blue water. Oh, oh yeah. The sea gypsies that are swapping. Yeah. Well, we're back Hi. to Zambalanga. So bye bye Santa Cruz with your pink beaches, your sand that tastes like strawberries. Well that's it, we're back in Zamboanga and uh, we had a perfectly safe time in Santa Cruz. Uh, met some wonderful people, ate some delicious food and saw some interesting things. I hope you enjoyed it. Ready now? Come on, come on. 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 Come